The benchmark stock indexes closed lower yesterday, having snapped a rally of the last week. Investors want to play safe in anticipation of the crucial employment data. The used non-farm payrolls could make investors revise their bets on the Fed's rate cuts expected at the beginning of the next year. All three stock indexes went down. The Nasdaq recorded the heaviest losses, and the stock market is likely to open with the losses today. However, bearing in mind a lot of economic data due after the opening bell, the market could change its sentiment. On a Friday, the S&P 500 closed at the highest level this year. Fed's chairman Jerome Powell spoke about the caution move toward uh, as the U.S. economy is sending signals of a cooling down. His remarks reinforced expectations that the central bank had completed the cycle of rate hikes. On a Monday, the S&P 500 pulled back losing some of early gains. The index closed at 4,569 yesterday, 0.54% down. The major stock indexes extended their slide on a Tuesday. Futures on the stock indexes shed 0.2 and 0.4%. The S&P 500 is expected to trade in the intraday Canada between 4,530 and 4,576 points. The most optimistic scenario suggests a rise to 4,590, but the most pessimistic one, a decline to 4,510. Following the stunning rally in, of November, U.S. stocks retraced yesterday because yields of long-term U.S. Treasuries rebounded from a three-month lows. The highlight of the week is the used non-farm payrolls that will be released on a Friday. The report will help traders predict the Fed's agenda for interest rates as well as the likelihood of a soft landing, so investors are trying to puzzle out whether the Federal Reserve is able to tame inflation and avert a recession in parallel. Market participants reckon that the central bank will keep the status quo at the policy meeting next week. According to the CME FedWatch tool, futures on the funds rate indicate a 58% probability that the Federal Reserve will begin rate cuts by March 2024. Some analysts warned that the market has made a hasty conclusion, rising in rate cuts. On a Monday, investors are in the wait-and-see mood, so the S&P 500 retreated from its highs. Shares of Microsoft, Apple, Nvidia and Amazon fell by more than 1%, winding down by rising yields of U.S. Treasuries. Among separate stocks, shares of Uber Technologies jumped by 2.2% after the company announced on a Friday that it would join the S&P 500 from December 13. As shares of crypto firms such as Coinbase, Global, Riot, Platforms and Marathon Digital surged by 5.9% after Bitcoin topped the landmark level of 40,000 for the first time this year and even spiked to $42,000. On a Tuesday, futures on the stock indexes went down, indicating further losses on Wall Street as investors are looking forward to a batch of economic data. Risky assets were a reboot until yesterday, hence the market needs soft data on the US economy to keep the peers asleep. Otherwise, a blast of strong data could wake them up. The US Labor Department is expected to report that the number of vacancies will fall to 9,300,000 uh, in uh, October. Mm, from 9,553,000 in September. This could signal when in demand for the workforce. Today, investors will have to digest the U.S. services PMI and the ISM non-manufacturing PMI. As for corporate news, uh, stocks of the top companies with a mega capitalization are printing losses in the New York pre-market. China stocks listed on the U.S. exchanges, including PDD Holding, JD.com and Baidu, dropped by between 1.8% and 2.2% after 
Moody's had downgraded its forecast of the Chinese government's credit ratings from a stable to negative. In the currency market, the US dollar is again in ground slowly but surely, following a long losing streak. Its index was trading at 103.70 before the opening bell, 0.07% up. The intradecadida for the instrument is seen between 103.48 and 103.90. The alternative scenario is a decline to 103.20 or growth to 104 points. Importantly, the US dollar has a slim chance for a confident recovery. The greenback needs solid economic data and strong employment. The PMIs released today are of a secondary importance compared to the non-farm payrolls. Thus, the US dollar could give an impulsive and uh, unstable response. Even if the data surpasses forecast, the US dollar index will hardly have enough energy to maintain its growth. The Canadian dollar is weakening against the US dollar. The currency pair rebounded and traded at 1.3580 in the early New York session, 0.38% up. The instrument is expected to trade in the interdecadida between 1.3514 and 1.3608. Oil prices are hovering slightly above five months lows. Worries about global energy demand um, outwined by modest contraction in oil output rates. And this fact alongside a minor recovery in the greenback through um, a punch on the loony. The Canadian dollar is an in suspense ahead of the policy meeting of the Bank of Canada later this week. The market does not expect any surprises from the regulator. Nevertheless, the loony could receive fresh impetus from the policymakers. The crypto market is taking a pause after a rapid rally on a Monday. Yesterday, Bitcoin conquered a peak at $42,000, and the flagship crypto traded at $41,888, or 0.35% down, before the New York session opening. Popular altcoins are trading moderately, mainly in the red today. Bitcoin is unwilling to give up today, trading not far away from a 42,000. Uh, 42, the baseline scenario suggests that the intraday credit between 41,650 and 42,150, leaving the borders, will lead to the price to either 41,200 or 42,370. You've watched the review of the North American session for today. We are always open for feedback. If you have any questions or want to share your viewpoint, subscribe to InstaForex TV channel to keep close steps on the global financial markets. Good luck and see you tomorrow!